Hey everyone, it's my one year booktube anniversary. I'm very excited. I'm also here with my July wrap up. Um, I'm not really good at celebrating things, so like, I don't know what to say about the one year booktube anniversary besides thank you to everyone who subscribes, comments and likes my videos. It really means a lot to me. You guys are amazing and yeah, how exciting. So let's get into things that I read in the month of July. I'm really proud of myself. I read five books, which is phenomenal because I have had a baby at the end of June so I was expecting to just like read one book and I was just gonna be like oh yeah I'll just review this and talk about it I'm actually really glad that I read more than one book because the first book that I read this month actually really disappointed me and that is so sad because it was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mack I don't know what it was. Well, I do actually know what it was, why I didn't like this book. I wanted to like it way more than I did. So for those of you who don't know, this is her next, this is gonna be a trilogy. It is different from Throne of Glass, but it's set in the same universe she said, so that means it's probably gonna be a crossover. And I'm just like, oh, does there have to be? I didn't like any of the characters. I didn't like the way the story ended, but I will continue on because I need to know that my suspicions are gonna be confirmed. Just like it really fell flat for me. Like I feel like this was going to be a standalone because there is like there is literally one line in like the last 20 pages that makes this possible for a trilogy and then there's something that happens at the end and i was just like what the fuck and let me know if you've read a court of thorns and roses and tell me how you felt about it okay so i read did i mention i love you by estelle mascom i did a review for this i will leave it in the description bar down below if you want to hear my thoughts on it love this four stars cute little contemporary read. the next book that i read in the month of july was the Scribe by Elizabeth Hunter. This was sent to me by Jen at Today in Jen's Library. Oh my gosh. This book. She sent me the entire trilogy, thank God, because this ends on this cliffhanger and I was just like, what? It was amazing. This is really, really good. I would, this is an adult. It's sort of, without saying too much, it's maybe like sort of angely type stuff. There's this guy, his name's Malachi. He's met this woman named Ava. Um... Ava hears voices, Malachi's from an ancient race of iron, I say it iron, um, who are basically like protectors of people. They fight these things called the Grigori, who are not the good guys, they're pretty bad. The next book that I read was, it was the last book in a trilogy, and I had mentioned in my massive wrap up video that I was really looking forward to this one, unless I edited that piece of footage out, but it is Every Last Breath by Jennifer L. Trout. This is the third book in the Dark Elements trilogy. Jennifer L. Trout, she did this promotion and she got the fans to vote for who you wanted the girl to end up with. And this book is such a fan service. like. The overall big problem that was happening in the first and second books is resolved, but the third book is just, it's all about that relationship. And I was just like, I am here for this. Thank you. So thank you, JLA. It was awesome. It was really good. It's just like, it's even lighter than the Lux series. Like it's just this kind of like popcorn YA, as Jen from Today and Jen's Library would say, um, which I just, I love that term. I use it all the time. So it was the perfect wrap up to everything. And it was just like, it was good. It was really good because the character is so likable and you just, you're happy. You're happy with how it ended. And well, I was really happy. And if you've read it, let me know if you were happy because I just felt like this, you know, she just stopped taking herself seriously. And she's like, this is what the fans want. This is what the fans are gonna get. And I was like, I'm a fan. I love it. Thank you so much. And the final book that I read in the month of July was the Risk by Sky Jordan. Sky Jordan is a romance writer. This is no exception. It follows the standard thing of like they meet, they fall in love, they fall out. And then literally within the last like 30 pages, like everything is resolved and it's just so amazing. The Risk is about a guy named Noah who is a champion snowboarder of all things, would you believe? And his love interest is Julia, who is his um, physical therapist. This, I live for Sky Jordan, this was terrible. Okay, so that's everything that I read in the month of July. What did you guys read? Let me know in the comments down below. <sighs> One year on booktube. That's crazy. A whole year. I've been sitting in front of my phone talking to myself basically. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. Big kisses. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>